Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's a TGIF in the summer. You got to love it. Let's take a look at one of our cards. This is a belief card. This author is unknown. Expect the best. Believe something is good is going to happen, and guess what? It usually does. It's all inside your head, folks. Make it happen. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 41, Nasdaq up 13, S&P's up five and a half, gold contract up three dollars and twenty cents, trading at one thousand two seventy-seven an ounce. Silver up fourteen cents at nineteen dollars and sixty-eight cents an ounce. Platinum. Down 11 at 1,432 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 34 cents trading at 106.87 a barrel. Bonds, we had the 10 year down 8 ticks at 124.09. 30 year off 3 ticks at 135.26. King dollar up 36 trading at 80.62. The euro down 15 at 135 and the yen trading up 30 at 102. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a flat market out here. We're at thirteen uh, nineteen thirty four. Uh, we did five hundred million shares versus six twenty one. That is on the daily. We take a look at this when we put this on the weekly. Bottom line is that uh, not much has happened. Uh, that's that's the reality. Last week uh, you had closed out at uh, 1949. This week we're at 1934. You know, we'll see if we get any follow through next week, meaning on the downside. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Same setup in the Dow. Sideways move up 41 bucks. Uh, you're at 16.755 out here, and um, you know that is not inside the, the lower range. Um, the lower range is 16. Thousand seven thirty-five. I'd have to get down another forty bucks. It was up about forty-one today. Nasdaq Composite. We take a look at the composite. Composite was up thirteen bucks. Sideways move basically. Uh, we are at forty-three ten, and that forty-three ten. Now, what you do have in the composite is this. What the composite has done is that. The composite got over the swing point going back from uh, March 28th. You got over the swing point of last week, and it closed under them both with lighter volume. So that's a failure in the composite. Tricky, but yes, that is a failure. We take a look at the SPY, the SPY. What do you have with the SPY? She closed up 59 cents. That's on the daily. We're at 194.13. On the weekly, what you have, uh, you're at the same level, of course. Um, you know, she pulled down slightly, uh, but I can tell you for... Um, for the trouble that's in Iraq right now and the whole ball of wax, this market's still not scared. No, no, it's just not scared, period. Gold contract. We take a look at gold. This is what we have with the gold contract. Gold contract had another nice move out here today. Yep, uh, it, it moved from the low to the high, 1270 to 1278. You closed out at the 1277.30. Not bad. Um, you know, 80,000 contracts. It's going to need more contracts, folks. As it tries to get back inside this 1278, it it nailed, it hit the 1278 and it couldn't hold it today. The 1278 is the crucial number. Why? Because if it gets back inside the 1278, then you're dealing with a trading range from the 1278 all the way up to this uh, 1386 level. So it's a big number. We had the wide price spread, accelerated volume yesterday. You didn't have follow through today, which is really unusual, by the way, on a Friday, particularly when you're talking about you very well, uh, you know, well, you have trouble in the Middle East. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the GLD, correlation inside the GLD. The GLD closed at 122.96. Now, that is inside the higher range. Uh, volume wasn't bad. Uh, we're dealing with, yeah, the volume was pretty good, actually. Uh, not as much as we still need, but not bad. Ten-year bond. What do you have with the ten-year bond? Ten-year bond. These bonds just want to go topside. It's pretty amazing what's happening with these bonds. We got to a low today of 123.30. We closed at 124.09. You did 1.1 million contracts. This is building some heavy cause. Number one, I suspect you get up to the 126, but it looks to me like we're going to go to the 128 on the 10-year. And what we do have uh, yield-wise in the 10-year, right now you are at 2.6. That's where the 10-year uh, is at, th at this particular point. 
we go over and we take a look at the 30 year, what we have with the 30 year is this. 30 year also refuses to back down whatsoever. Uh, the low today in the 30 year was 135.05. The high out here, 136.06. We closed at 135.35. And she, the 30 year is a trip. The 30 year like wants to go to 142. Okay, so the, these are big numbers, and the, the bond market is still saying, guess what, that money is going to stay into bonds, rates are going to stay low. King dollar, we go take a look at king dollar, what we have with king dollar is this. King dollar rejected lower price today, did it on light of volume, we're at 80.62, and what king dollar is continuing to do is this, is that when the European Central Bank came out and brought rates negative, the dollar spiked to 81.06, ended up closing at 80.40, the euro spiked the other way, deviance beyond belief, bottom line, dollars building cause to get up to that level. It looks to me like the dollar right now, not only will get to that level, that this is a very large ABC structure on the way up. You gotta remember something, when we went up there, you had volume at the high, it didn't hold price. So on a smaller basis, it's an ABC structure up, that gets you into the 81.65, which, were the, which was the highs that were generated last January. So there's uh, the currency moves out here. Well, let's go with the oil market, too, because what we had with oil yesterday is this. Oil yesterday breaks topside with volume, ABC structure on the way up. That, that's, how, that's how this thing is set up right now. We are at uh, 106.80. It just took out this 104.50 in a huge way, not in a small way. Let's go to uh, Charles in Atlanta. Hey, Charles, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. So the uh, so as we we took out this 10440, you took it out with volume. Uh, we did uh, yesterday. Let's just take a look here. We did okay. Yesterday we did 321 thousand contracts. As we take that out, so your A point. On oil is 98, your B point is uh, 10450, so you get six and a half bucks. Your C point is 10160, which would get you what, uh, six, that's seven, it's, it's 108. That's where that's set up. Now, what you have, if I put this on a continuous contract, what you have, folks, is that the swing point is much higher. It's going to go after the swing. It's, it's not that much higher, but it's, yeah, it's 112. 108. All the, the last highs up here, a 109, you hit, you hit 109 the week of, uh, oh, this is wild, of July of last year. All of last year, in the summer last year, it was up there. 109 was July of last year, 114 was August of last year, and 110 was September of last year. Uh, that wants to at least spike that area. And what that spike is all about, of course, is uh, northern Iraq. That, that's how that is uh, shaken out. Um, this coming Tuesday night, folks, what I'm going to be doing, if you come over to our website at TFNN, what you're going to see right in the carousel, you're going to see it says new 5% secured monthly income opportunity. Uh, what that is all about is that, you know, we have the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund. Uh, what we're doing is that I'm going to be mortgaging 11 properties. And this is a very unique program that uh, we put together. It's pretty cool because what... We're in the environment, when we talk bonds, you're in a very low environment, low interest rate environment, right? So there's a couple of things that, that happen in that. Whether you're in the CD market or you're basically a saver, uh, the rates that you're getting in the banking you know, certificate and deposit market are very small. Um, what we are doing is that if you want to get a first mortgage, so we're putting 11 properties up for first mortgage. It's not a pooled investment. Each first mortgage would be individual. You would get paid 5% interest monthly. And the property itself, just to give you an idea how it would work, they're all brand new properties. They're all leased, all of the above. The way it would work is that where the loan to value is 70%. So let's say the property comes in with a third party appraisal, approximately, you know, 150,000 bucks, bottom line. The loan will be 100000 You get a safety net inside it. You stay right there. I'll talk about it as soon as we come back. You can sign up for the webinar. It's a free webinar. It's uh, going to be Tuesday night, 6.30 to 7.30, if you have an interest in it. We're going to be right back, folks. 
path of least resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary for Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Dave White, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, as I was going through this webinar I'm going to be doing, folks, on Tuesday night, uh, if you come over to our website on the front page of TFNN, what you're going to see is it says, uh, new 5% secured monthly income opportunity. Uh, this is the Tiger Real Estate Fund. If you click that, what you're going to see is that um, coming this Tuesday night, okay, uh, what we're going to be talking about is that how you can actually be the bank. Uh, and the way this deal uh, is working is that we're looking to mortgage uh, 11 properties, and we're doing it at 70% of a third-party appraisal. So it's a really, it's, a, it's an amazing secure investment, actually. Uh, you paid 5% on a monthly basis interest. 
the you're guaranteed that for the first 18 months. So it's a four-year term, but guaranteed for 18 months. And what that means specifically is that the fund could sell the property and not pay a penalty after 18 months. And so if people are moving, you know, I, if you're moving money out in order to do it, you know you're going to get 18 months at 5%. After that, there would be out a penalty. Um, if you have an interest in that, come to the workshop. It's from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, if you have a, an, a, an interest sooner than Tuesday, you can call the office. We already moved one property out, and I just did it last night. Um, so I suspect, you know, these are going to go. That, that's the bottom line. Um, so what you also can do, if you want to see the properties, what you can do right on the website is just go over to, on the right-hand side, to Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund, and you know, the properties are right there, uh, inside and outside. So you can check them out. Uh, if the, so the downside, the, the upside is you get 5% monthly basis paid, secured um, deal. The downside would be you don't get your money back for four years. It's an illiquid investment. That's, that's what it comes down to. So, but if you're in the CD market and you're looking for something that's more than 1.3%, percent, um, it's, it's, we think it's a, it's a good, it's a good, we think it's a good deal for the investor. It's a good deal for the fund also. That's what it comes down to. Because if you heard me yesterday, um, and it was so cool because the, you know, the Blackstone, what Blackstone is doing folks. Okay. Is that they're rolling up a lot of funds like us and they're pushing the bonds out. And I was dealing with them. And the bottom line is that it would end up costing us about uh, almost nine, nine and a half percent after fees with Blackstone. So um, this is a much better deal. I figure I know we're going to pull it off. So it's pretty cool. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, uh, before we get into technology, I wanted to ask you a question. We were talking a little earlier. Yeah. Yesterday kind of went under the radar. England is racing, going to raise their interest rates sooner rather than later. Right. We got negative interest rates in the rest of Europe. Right. What's going to happen over there? It's kind of a tug of a, for, for England, you almost think that they're always in lockstep with Europe. But this really seems like a tale of, of two cities out here, isn't it? I would agree. I mean, because right now, what you do have, if you look at it by Bloomberg screen, what you have right now is that WIP, that 10 years paying 2.6. Their 10 years paying 2.7. And that's, that just popped yesterday. Right. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. So, uh, you know, I, all day long out in the financial press, they say, hey, Oz is going to pop. I don't buy it. You know what I mean? Uh, what you, you know, there, there are correlations that are, that are close, though, because, you know, London, Knightsbridge, Manhattan, uh, the real estate in Knightsbridge is insane. If you've never been to Knightsbridge, it's a part of London, folks. It's just absolutely gorgeous, um, just like Manhattan, you know, and, and, you know, it's a real estate boom in both of those towns, you know, and we'll see if that, that's driving it, but I don't think that's going to make a difference in ours. I mean, I heard people out there today saying that our rates are going to go up next week. I think they're out of their mind. Yeah. So what are we going to look at? Well, I wanted to start talking about things going on this week, and probably the big thing today open table, yeah. was open table being bought out. Right. Now, I talked about it on my show today, okay. but one of the things, especially in very quiet, very low-volume markets you need to be watching out yeah. for is stocks like open table. Six days to cover. So there are a bunch of people fried in this today. Oh, it's it's a I brought up the interest, the, the shot interest. It's, it was fourteen point eight percent. Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of these other stocks that are out here that are oh, getting. Oh, they're, they're blown out right now. Yeah, right, they're right. they're gone. But I, there's kind of a bigger story to open table, and I really didn't recognize it until today. Okay. Because it really didn't come out, but. Last week, Uber got like $1.8 yes. billion. Dollars. And, well, what does Uber and OpenTable have to do with each other? You know, I, I didn't think, I looked at that last week and I thought, well, someone's got, there's something going on on there. But you didn't know. Yeah. Well, they forced and really pushed this thing through with OpenTable last night because it was starting to leak out that that $1.8 billion was because Uber is getting into Open Table's business. So I don't know if Open Table thought we better just get this deal done, get some deep pockets with uh, Priceline, Priceline, and get some cash back behind us because Uber's really got a 
dynamite platform. For those people that don't know it, this is the pseudo cab company, right? You yes. Tell them. But if you look on your phone, you see where your cab driver is and where you are, and you know exactly, you know, is he really coming here? Yeah. Is he telling me he's coming here? It actually tracks them. It's got, they've got a wonderful system out there for putting that together. You actually know where your cab driver's coming from. That's amazing. And every, yeah, it's not one of these things right. where the guy's going to be there in 10 minutes and you find out he's there in 30. You can see the little dot moving close to you. That's pretty cool. No, you know, I've, I've, I, don't, I don't have that. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't even know if they have it down here. Um, because in they, big, they, in they big, do. There's they a do. few in Tampa. But. Okay. In big cities, they're going to, I mean, yeah. they're, they're having a blast. There's no doubt about it. Well, and the intriguing thing with that is that the valuations of the medallions have still stayed high in Manhattan and in Boston. Right, and, now, and that's that's that, going to be a tough thing it, to break. It, change. It? it would seem that it has to change, you know, because... You know, that's such a uh, that was such a money-making deal, though, oh, for totally. the cities. And, you know, no, yeah. and, and for people, people and for yeah. investors. And for investors, you know. And you know what's amazing is that this middleware is totally where it's at, you know, right? I mean, middleware has taken over everything. Right. Yep. And when you think that that you know a company like Uber, you wouldn't think that you know that you think that they'd finish up everything in the cab business before they moved on. These guys have already moved on to the next thing before they've oh, even make really sense. gone on to what they did. Which but I think it, it makes sense because a guy like you, that, right? That you know software upside down. You see that you say, oh, hold it, I can do that in this business. This is, so all these software guys aren't sleeping at night saying, hey, this this. Business can be done. This can be changed overnight. Right, but it really looks like we're going to get a, a lot of consolidation probably fairly quickly because if you're a single company, kind of like Open Table, that doesn't have something more than going for them, but they're one little bit. Yeah. Uh, but for Priceline, to me, it makes perfect sense for Priceline. Oh, yeah. For, for, sure. for everything they do, put for it sure. all back together. And uh, I, to me, because you know what Priceline's got to get into? They're going to get into auction and off the tables. Yes. Yeah. They, they, that's how that's going to work. Well, they're, going to, they're going to get into, you know, you got the table. You some picture this, folks. You got the table. You know, you want to go into a good restaurant. And, and then individual restaurants have already started this in a small way, but Priceline will get it in a big way. And what does happen is no doubt, if you're doing business... And you want that table, guess what? You're going to get that table. How big is the account? The, the funny thing was I was talking to Mike in the office here, and he goes, Do, is there really a need to, to uh, have some kind of app so you can get a table? He says, I call ahead at, uh, at uh, like at the uh, Olive Garden or something. Yeah. You know, they'll put me on the list. Right. And I said, well, you don't live in a big city like L.A. or New York. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's where these things really are. In, no, 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 Chicago, listen. L.A., New York. You're in season right here. Yeah, in, in season, season right yeah. here. You're a two-hour wait. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling us to come right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
automation capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long term profits and the tech insider is the vehicle from tfnn to capitalize on these opportunities this is the go-to newsletter that identifies monitors and profits on mostly little known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects david's experience is as an inventor of emmy-winning animation products for tv and hollywood that propelled a company public match that with 14 years as a full-time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever-evolving high tech if you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone silent. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dave White, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Don't forget, folks, at TFNN, every trading day, we have live content from 9 in the morning, 6 in the afternoon. All of that content right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. You want to get Tiger TV on your browser, just put tfnn.com on the right-hand side. You're just going to see a little uh, box of devices. Hit it. Our servers know exactly what your device you're on. You can get the charts. You can get our, our mug shots. And, of course, you can get the audio. We're looking at Samsung. Samsung's got new tablets out today, an 8.5-inch and a 10.5-inch okay. tablet. Uh, this is going to be going up head-to-head -head with iPad Airs. They're a very thin unit. These are thinner, lighter, higher resolution, uh, higher horsepower of the CPU. Uh, you can argue whether or not having an iOS device is better than an Android device, but I have a feeling that in a less, it, well, in is, Intel, uh, is iOS... Uh, Apple. 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 Okay, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you're talking iOS is now the operating system for the Macs and tablets and got, phones, right? right? Right. So when we uh, look at, uh, at at this, we're really seeing that maybe at some times Apple's had a small lead. 
Yes. Now, until Apple comes out with their new refreshes on their iPads, probably not, at least on the hardware side, uh, Samsung has a definitive advantage. Uh, 2,500 by, uh, what is it, 2,500? I like Samsung products. Uh, I tell you what, yeah. they've come out with a ton of different products. And it, it's they, been, they, there's a slew of them, they, I know. You can't stand it. But one thing, thing that they, I think, are doing right is just because everything isn't a wild success, they don't stop. They're making it a little better each right. time, a little better each time, a little bit. And at this point, they may have anywhere from a four to six month window of being ahead, at least on the hardware side, of what... And that's a lot, right? It, that's, that's a, a lot, lot. Uh, in Apple. Now, Apple have their new product, but to me, if Samsung's six months or four months ahead now, in four months, do they release yet another product right. that I'm, comes out I'm the door? Because right. they, are, they are not quitting and spending a lot of, uh, of money modifying the Android operating system, they are even branching that operating system off and making a special version of Android for themselves with new features on it. So the fractionalization may be a problem for Android overall, but it may be Samsung is looking at making their own version of the operating system. We already have Amazon with their devices that have a slightly different version that traps you in their ecosystem. Yes. The question is whether or not Samsung's going to do the same thing and force you to their bailiwick. So well, they do. They do pretty good because I yeah. have Samsung TV, and I realize that. There's a couple of other products I'm buying off them, and I like it. They make it so convenient. Yeah. It's easy, right? It's very easy. Because they already have my credit card. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It, 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 it really is. Once that happens, it's like, oh, this is easy. You just hit it. It is. The death of the PC is highly overrated. Yep. Just like uh, they, they've said, Mark Twain said, the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated. Right, yeah. right. The, uh, of course, uh, Andy Grove, and I heard this maybe two years ago, he was on TV or they were playing something back. And he'd already said, it was going through all the times they said the PC sure. was dead. Right. And it, this is up to 12 or 13 times. So this is not any time new, but I went and Googled, the PC is dead. Okay. And I had like three pages of Google things. It all said, PC's dead, PC's dead, PC's dead. And what we've been talking about, the XP upgrade cycle yes. for a while. Right. And I think if anybody listens to the news about Intel at all, right. saw their price, uh, their stock pop out here today, right. it's not un inconceivable that we're seeing a lot of these old PCs finally uh, have to be upgraded because XP is no longer being supported. But even when I walk into your office in there, there's a guy with three PCs sitting in front of his desk. Right. I bought a new one. I know Steve Rhodes just bought a new one. Right. And in fact, I got a couple of new ones in this last few months. So I'm, it may be anecdotal, but to me, there's not there's still a good business out there. And I'm using my tablets for very specific things. Yes. And I just finished my newsletter for the day. Okay. I couldn't have done that on a tablet. Right. I, there's a lot of things. In fact. Very few things I can do on a tablet besides watch maybe a movie or control, no, I, I uh, control my screen. So the thing that's intriguing here, though, is that so you got the XP upgrade cycle, and you were all over that a year ago. Yeah. You know, if you listen to us, you know, Dave was all over that, which was really cool because they, you know, there's one thing being a uh, individual folks, okay, but, but companies, um, they have to, up, well, they don't have to, but they, 90, 80, who knows? Seventy some percentage is going to you know it's going to be a high percentage upgrade. They throw their PCs out. They're going to buy them. Yeah. So when I look at Intel, I says, okay, it's not like the Intel of the '90s where they keep coming out with chips. They can have a run a year, year and a half. You know. And in the, and in the meantime, in the next year, they're working very hard to make low power, high speed chips yes. for tablets and phones, and they're trying to get right. into that business. Why they're living through the XP. Uh, Microsoft upgrade cycle. Nice, yeah. And that's always that's always nice. We got we got a call. Gene okay. from uh, Clearwater. She wants to talk about uh, Intel, I believe. Hey, Gene, how you doing? Great, Tom. Except um, I did the same thing. I bought a desktop and a laptop with the new Windows 8, and upgrade been upgrading everything, software and everything. And I thought, gee, I should buy Intel. That was about two months ago, and I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See that? Well, now, uh, you you got to pay attention late? to your heart. Yeah. 
I know, really. I did buy Microsoft, though, with 26. No, that's a beautiful thing. Around the same time I bought the computers. That works. <laughs> that so works. If, if, we, if we look at Intel, and I put this on a monthly. It's probably an ABC and a monthly. That's, well, that's it's a step in there at the, yeah. So 29.27. All it has to do is hang over there. Let's see. So right now we're at 390 million. Versus, oh, versus, uh, yeah. Now, this is not going to work. Yeah. So, watch, Gene. This is a trip. This is going to be a trip watching this shake out, folks. Now, I wouldn't buy it just yet, first off, but what you can do is, if you're in the car, folks, we have a monthly chart up. And the last high in Intel was uh, 2927, and it had 870 million shares up there. Now, it gave it up. It gave it up, you know, went from a price point of uh, 29 down to 19. We're at, uh, what is it, the 13th? Oh, it's Friday the 13th, man. Ow! I could go into why that, <laughs> it really doesn't mean too. anything. But. What? It's a full moon, too. I yeah, know. I was man. howling on the beach last night. <laughs> uh, so if it could hold this price with volume, then you'd have that. You, you, I, could, yeah, I could make the case that uh, 19 to 20, I could make a case of 39 bucks. Right now, it doesn't look like. The volume's going to hold. You know? I'd, I'd, I've been looking at it, and I think we're probably looking at the same comeback in the 26s. And if you get it on light volume, then maybe you've got the setup to go f have it come back and break out. Now, not saying it's going to come back there, but that's, I think, kind of where I'd like it to come back to, to set up a decent risk reward in the trade. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to wait here, Gene. You have to wait. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to create like an annuity, like a portfolio with just different sectors. Yes. For my retirement plan. Okay. So I'm not only really looking at trade, like I'm with when you. I bought Microsoft, okay. I ended up, I, I sold the number, I sold the amount that I invested in and the rest is just writing. So. Yeah. So, so, so Intel is this a pays... trade with Intel or is it a. Intel pays. Because uh, yeah, it does pay a dividend. Yeah, three yeah. percent, which is great. I mean, that's that's dynamite. I mean, and Microsoft's paying a dividend. Too. I know. I listen to now. That, that's a good scene. I did put in um, to buy um, Cisco though instead of Intel at like twenty three fifty. I think it hasn't hit that yet. Let's see. Are you are you thinking about holding it long term? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to create a portfolio for I, my future. I would. I'll tell you the fundamental side of. Uh, Cisco that bothers me, and that is the, the CEO is leaving, and my guess is he's probably going to have the stock at the high price when he leaves the end of this year, and it's he's probably going to not. Chambers is leaving. Yes, Chambers has been there forever. Man. He's been there forever. My guess is there's the books are probably as stretched as they're going to get, because as soon as he gets out of there, he's going to start selling. So I'm, I would be very. If you're, if it's a long-term trade, I'd be kind of worried about it. 2006, he's been. I didn't since. buy it yet. It's. I was waiting to see if it went to 2350. Yeah. I, I would just say, but I think this thing's pulling back next year after he leaves. After they get a new CEO, normally they like to throw all the bad stuff in after they move. And if it pulled back then, I'd probably be more okay. inclined to it. The other thing is, there's so many other people building cheaper routers than they have right now. Okay. That I think they're going to be under price pressure, especially for their flagship router. Uh, you can buy the uh, the competition for about thirty five hundred bucks, and they're charging five grand for them. So now they have a router that's a little bit better than everybody else's, but that's the majority of their business. But I have a feeling that it is going to be problematic for them to keep that five grand. It's kind of like Apple. How long can they keep that huge margin up there? I think if it cracked, you'd be in real trouble. Okay, I so, just wanted to say I, I've lived in... Are you still there? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, I've lived in Clearwater since 76, and um, I've listened to you since you got on on the radio. Of course, not every day, but I remember the first time that you, you came on the radio, so... Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on your long... Uh, long we, we appreciate your growling and prowling with us, Gene. Okay, thanks. All right, great one. Stay right there, folks. Dave and I come right back. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability. Available on the homepage of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob. 
TFBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate your growling and problem with us. Don't forget, folks, each and every trading day, our man Dave White has an outstanding program, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Get right here at TFNN. Also has two newsletters. Now, the way you test drive those newsletters, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. You can go to an investment newsletter. And as you go to the investment newsletter, you're going to get the Tech Insider. Okay? You go to trading newsletters, and you're going to get the path. Path of least resistance. You can test drive both of them simultaneously if you like. Um, you know, when we talk uh, about consistency, folks, okay, they're, they're dynamite newsletters. Right now we're looking at Amazon and Audible. Right. Now, there's a new feature uh, in Audible and with Amazon when you're reading their uh, ebooks, and that is. You can flip back and forth if you pay more, 99 cents. Some of the top titles are up to $4. Yes. But when you buy the ebook, you can, for 99 cents on a lot of the books, yes. get the Audible book version of the same thing. And absolutely, if you let's say that you're, in, you're reading it and you want to go get in your car, yes. you hit a button and it starts playing right where you left off That's audibly. Cool. And then when you get you know, out of the car, maybe you want to get back and start reading. Sure. You just hit another button, you're right back to where you left off. So it's going to be... Amazon's seamless. so smart, man. And then buck a book, when you're talking, they're, they're only a buck. That's doubling their profit. Profits. I mean, it's, it's huge. The uh, Amazon bought Audible about a year, year and a half ago. And I always, you know, it makes sense to sell the audio book if you're selling books already, right? Sure. I didn't really see this part where you could really flip between. Oh yeah, you know, no, going through no, no doubt. And it seems to make a lot, but it's going to be. Uh, it's I guess it's already available for uh, all the Kindles and uh, Android and iOS systems already. But uh, I, to me, that was kind of. Uh, I know we're probably looking at Amazon and lower prices on the stock price at yeah, least. But this might. But no, they're no still doubt. doing a. a he's, cre he's creative beyond belief, man. That guy can push product. Hot spots. We got hot spots. Comcast. Let's see. Sometime on Tuesday afternoon, fifty thousand Comcast internet customers in Houston will become part of a massive public Wi-Fi hotspot. So tell me about it. Basically, they're going to turn everybody's home router into a hotspot. So wherever you're going, if you're once you leave your house, you'll be able to use any of those routers as a hotspot. And thank you, Comcast. <laughs> this is great for Tiger TV. I mean, I, the, the reality is that we're going to be, you know, I mean, you're going to be able to stay in touch on a continual basis. That's part of it. I'm worried kind of about sharing my high-speed connection with other people. Right. When they come along who haven't done it. They're going to wake you up in the morning. Uh, Dave, Dave, <laughs> turn on, turn on Com your router. Comcast is here. <laughs> wake up. I got, uh, I got Fios, so what I'm What are happy. you having for breakfast? <laughs> but uh, Big brother, folks. It, it, no, I'm kind of more worried about the security issue where you have these open hot spots. Yes. And they've gotten into your router. That's the first step. Right. Normally, you want to keep people out of everything. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. And that's why I continue. It's to, another door. Right? Yeah, it's, it's another, another door. door. So di this security, it kind of bothers me. The good part is, like you said, you'd at least have a high-speed connection anywhere you probably went. Right. Now, the problem is it seems to be so segmented. At my gym, if I go there, okay, it's Bright House. Yes. Well, I've got Fios. I don't want... A bright house, house is the best, man. Is, is the best, and I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Where I am, they don't have it. I can't believe it, man. They only have bright house. It's like you got to be kidding me. So that, that to me, it, it, it's a little tough when you get segmented like that. If you're in Comcast, you you go over the, the across to the other side of town. Maybe there isn't Comcast, right? No. So it, why it's good, it's still problematic, and I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. 
Wireless tracing. Right. The U.S. court has ruled that police and other law enforcement agencies have to get a search warrant now before looking at your phone when they pull you over, when they do anything else. It's not instant because you've got it in the car that I can look through any of it, look through your contacts, figure out who you called, do everything. Oh, really? So they were doing that? Yes. They've been well, doing you, it for four years. Folks, you know what you got to do? You know, listen, you have children. Please let them know what their rights are, okay? This thing is getting out because it's out, it's out of... It's out of control. The good news is it reached this level. The next level it's going to is the Supreme Court. I'm yes. sure the government is going to want to to uh, push it to that level. But it, it uh, basically, if you had anything in your car that was electronic, okay, they said we don't need a warrant. We can look through it anything we want. Now, I can understand that there are some problems with texting and people driving. So oh, that's a huge problem. Yeah. So, There's but, no doubt but about to me, that. if you're an accident. You can take the cell phone, you can put it in a bag, you can put it into evidence, and they can look at it later yeah, no, if no, they no, get no. a search warrant. No, no. Yeah. Just automatically, because it's going to take the cop a little bit of time I see. to maybe get a search warrant, right. doesn't make sense to me that they instantly get to go and look through everything in your phone. Right. And uh, now, we're probably looking at hearing about this in the news. My guess is this goes to the Supreme Court next fall, and next summer we have a, a final right. adjudication on it. But at least to me, we're, we're almost there in getting some of our privacy back that has been given up. Yeah, thank God. You know the, uh, oh, GoPro. Yeah. GoPro is uh, filed. Do you have one? Do you have a GoPro? No, I don't. I don't either, man. i got to get a GoPro. If you have, These GoPros are insane. Right? I, used, I used to mount regular cameras on my motorcycle so it was right. so when I was racing. Right. So I could go back and remember what happened. Right. They, well, I would have loved to have them at the time. I know. I don't have one now. I really don't have a use. They sold for... $1 billion in equipment? Yep. Now, the question I have, though, is the valuation. A lot of people are saying, okay... What is the barriers to entry? And when we talked about this in Groupon before, yeah. and we hated the company a yeah. lot because anybody could do it. Sure. Now, the question is... You don't what, even hear about them anymore. Well, so I talked about them on my show I today. heard you. No, I heard you, but you don't even hear about them. That's so funny that you really don't. You don't hear about So, them. Just, just folks, GoPro is a, is a small camera. Well, there's a lot, I don't, I don't, maybe it's a lot of different, but the bottom line is that you can mount them on your head. You can mount them on surfboards. You can mount them everywhere. And, right. Waterproof. And, yeah. Airproof. Right. Uh, you can take them just about anywhere. Right. And a lot of people destroy them, and they end up buying more f cameras later on. Right. Okay. But the, the, the question that everybody has is, is there really something in here that no one else could do, let's say Sony or Samsung or something else? And I'm having a real tough time looking at that valuation saying you can't. Now, these guys are great marketers. And maybe there is enough in there to say that this is like Beats. They've got such a market penetration. And I would say I, I'd say that's right. And that's, this is like a top pro team. I mean, right. you know, if you're all the top pros, folks, use GoPro. I mean, you know, if you're a skydiver, if you're a mountain climber, if you're, you know. They, they get, make sure it's everywhere. Yeah. And, you know. And it's kind of like Red Bull advertising where they, they get into all these extreme sports. Yep. All that kind of stuff. Wow. Anyway. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like I used to make motion pictures. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. All of us at TFNN, we look forward to speaking to you right here, Monday. Go get it, folks. Thanks, Dave. Great show.